task that I will explain in this video clip is bisect a line segment. It will explain how to bisect a line segment. <clears throat> um, we'll use geogebra.org, the little circle with dots on it, the little <laughs> ellipse with dots on it at the and in your toolbar. <clears throat> or you can go to geogebra.org. Anyways, it will come up like this. So let's just create a segment. Um, the second tool, set of tools from the left, click on the down arrow, and let's just do a points, two points, random points. Now, in this tool, Set we can do a line through those points or different things, but let's just do a segment so that it stops at the at the points. <clears throat> now we want to cut that in half, just using circles and lines that are the only tools that we want to use at this point. Go ahead and try that. You can just pause the video and open up GeoGebra.org and and try to bisect a, a line segment. And then, after you've had a chance to try that, maybe you've succeeded, or you want to see how I do it, you can continue the video. Okay, so here's how I would do it. I would select a circle tool, and I would start with the center at B, when it hover over A until it says point A, click on it. And then I would start at A, hover over B until point B comes up, and click on it. Now I'm going to intersect. I want points where those two circles intersect. So in in the second toolbar from the left, down arrow, and it, choose the one that says intersect two objects. Now you can try to put the point by yourself, and sometimes it works, but it always works when you use this tool. So you put points where those two objects intersect, then those points are exactly where those two objects intersect. <clears throat> now we need to create a segment between those two points. It could be a line as well. <clears throat> so it goes right through the middle. Well, if we use the intersect tool, say well where those two lines intersect we would like to put a point exactly there now we can measure distance between B and E it says the distance is 1.56 between E and A is also 1.56 let's go ahead and hide those construction circles we could even hide that line and the points if we want. So we have to have the show and hide ob object selected when we do that. Now if I click over here on something else, those construction <coughs> objects disappear. Now if I make a longer segment, stretch it longer, does that point E still, is that still in the middle? Does it still <clears throat> bisect that line? The answer is yes, 2.38, 2.38. So you may want to save that because you may want to refer back to it if you forget how to do this. Save it in your shared folder. Save as Click on computer, shared drive Z, S Shumway, student, and if you don't have a folder there, go ahead and create a folder. <clears throat> I guess you'll have to create a folder in another system. This one isn't <coughs> letting us create a, a folder. You could create a folder with a little file menu in your toolbar, but you have it 
created, you would select on your folder and then give it a name, maybe bisect an angle, and save it. <clears throat> but for passing this off, all you need to do is raise your hand and, and show me and I'll come over and I'll stretch it around and see if it's still cut in half. 